Hello folks, you are welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue on this series of tutorial about how to create a test for React components or React application. On this tutorial, I'm going to help you how to mock a date. On the previous tutorial, uh, we already tested a stateful component and we left only one test case for how to mock a date. And if you are new to my channel and this first uh, tutorial to watch, I will advise you to go back and watch the previous uh, tutorials about how to test React components. And also try and come to follow us in this tutorial. Additional to that, try to subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe already and enable the bell to get all new videos and content when I upload them to the channel. And also, if you like the video, try to press some up that will support me to continue uploading more tutorials. And if you have any idea, any comment, uh, any suggestion, try to leave that down of the video where the uh, comment section. So let's start just a very quick recap from the VS Code here. Our last tutorial, we were trying to add some test cases for this uh, hooks file here. And on this hooks.test.js file we created this list of test cases and I'm going to just to recap for this point here on this test cases here the description sh saying should add a uh, user data and user ID to users uh, when call handle submit so this on last video worked fine and the test pass because if I go back here to this uh, hooks.js file I were trying to add, for example, see here, manual ID and then spreading the users. So should be happening here the opposite, should first spread the user and then try to override the ID in this scenario then will not get empty ID but will get the valid ID. If I run the test again, the test will fail and that what we are going to work today toward to fix it and also showing you how to mock uh, a date on uh, React testing. So as you see here, the test is failing and it's returning this date instead of empty. And if you go back here to this test case here, and because on this, I'm going to avoid this, I'm going to create a new test case specifically for the ID. And I'm going to remove this ID from this uh, scenario. And also I'm going to update the description here. Should add a user data. Uh, I'm going to remove the an ID. So should uh, add user data to users when call handle submit. This is still valid test case. Let me just collapse this test case here and add new line here. I'm going to add a new test case. And here just I'm going to paste this test case description. Uh, should add user ID to each user in users array when call handle submit. So basically any uh, user object should has an ID inside this user's array when I call handle submit. So what does that mean? Basically, if I come back here again to this uh, hooks file, and if you see here, when I call handle submit in this line 24, I'm trying to update these users to spread them inside this array. And I'm adding the new user here, and I'm trying to override the default ID here instead of empty to have this value. What is this value? This value is created here in this line uh, 5. Uh, uh, the variable here is assigned to a date that converts it to local date string. And that is basically how we can handle this on this test case. Again, let's come back here to our test case description. Uh, what we understand from here, we should adding this ID to this user inside array of users. And this ID, we can access it when call this handle submit. Okay, I'm going to copy some code here, which will be similar scenario for this when adding a uh, user data. Uh, I'm going to just to modify this for to speed up this uh, tutorial. Uh, let me just go until here. And again, inside this line, I'm going to paste it and I'm going to explain this also line by line. Let me collapse this one to give you more space and you can read what's going on here. Okay, so let's, I'm going to use dot only. So this will help me to run this test case only in this file. I'm trying to ignore other test cases just to help us to focus only on this one. And what is happening here, basically, we assigning, we try to access result from uh, using this render hooks and this will be callback inside this callback. We'll call our use dashboard functions that which we imported just from hook file that we have the functionality on. And if I scroll down here, and I'm 
creating three events so these three events when we try to update an a user so i'm going to remove this i, I don't need to this actually here because i'm not uh, testing as the actual user data I'm testing only the id to be added to that user so if i remove this and also i'm going to remove this three handler here so i'm um, only care when calling this handle submit and also inside this act so this is when we try to uh, uh, call any when we're trying to call any function inside this result or inside this hook we should wrap it through this act uh, function where is this coming from we import this act from this library called testing library slash react hooks i mentioned this one we should install it at the beginning of the, uh, this series of tutorial if you didn't watch that i will advise to go back and try to watch the previous tutorials about testing i will leave the all uh, playlist uh, uh, url down of this video so again as i mentioned and explain this what this will do act and inside here so this handle submit will expect uh, an event and this event will be an object and inside this object we are interested in this function called prevent default and where is this why we using this prevent default if i go back to this file here see this handle submit we'll expect this e which is stand for uh, event and then we'll try to call this uh, prevent defaults if we didn't pass this then our test will not go to next line so we need to pass this just to we can get to next point so here instead of this test case what we are expecting let me just change this line uh, what I'm trying to test first, I'm trying to access, for example, various user is inside this list of users, which will be uh, because users in an array, how to access the first item inside the array will be zero, which is the index number. And then what we try to access the ID of that user, which will be dot ID. Uh, what uh, so basically I need as, as, as if you read the description here, I need to check this ID added to this user and how i can check that basically uh, let me create here a variable call it const uh, user id and this will be just a date for example uh, 1 of january 2021 and i will expect that id to equal to this number and if i just run now the test the test will fail uh, let's first make sure it's fail and then try to make it pass if i run the test let me run it this will take some second as you see here so i'm expecting to get uh, this date here so first of uh, january 2021 and i'm getting 30 of october 2021 which is the date of today and how i can fix this one so in this scenario we need to mock the date or new date so the date that we are using here so if i come back again here where we creating the id we using new date uh, or the global date how we can mock this to match our this date so basically this will help us always to keep like fixed date every time when we run the test the test will pass but if we for example just edit uh, change it to this this uh, the current date if we came again tomorrow and try to run it it will fail because it will be automatically updated to tomorrow date so which will be 31st of october 2021 so how to avoid this in this scenario the just uh, library would help us to we can mock uh, this date always will be fixed to one date so how we can do that again let's just stop and try to get a solution for this okay so always try to go to the documentation and follow the documentation if i come back here to the browser i already did quick uh, search and check so in, inside the just uh, documentation giving us this uh, list of uh, doc documentation here how to mock a time basically whatever time and i'm going first to call this before each test case so this should be called inside your describe before each test already i have it here so it will be which similar to what i copied so i don't need to add it again basically this is what it will do it will reset the date before each test case so it, to use the real time uh, what next step uh, let me scroll to the bottom if i go back again here and the next step we can call this uh, before inside our test case before everything and uh, in this line here this will give us access to just time mocker then we can mock the date basically 
Okay, so what is next then? There is another uh, function we can use to mock uh, a date or a time. So after this line here, uh, line 97, let's create a new line here. And the function, it will be called guess.setSystemTime. So this system time, we can pass whatever time through this one. And this scenario, we are going to pass the new date that we are using on the hooks file, new date. And then we need to pass the fixed date that always will be the same. Basically, it will be this, just this ID. I can pass it through here. And now, if I run the test, it should have the test pass. If I run it again, this will take some second to run. because I'm running all files, as our test cases files too. As you see here, our test is passing now. And uh, this because just updated to this this always. So if it, you come back tomorrow, next year, whatever date, always will be fixed to this date. So simply this is how to, to test a date or how to mock a date using guest. And very simple, basically, if I need to recap this quickly uh, on your uh, describer here, so you need to pass this uh, before each test case, you need to reset the date to be using real uh, time. This is because basically if you're running other test cases to not uh, break them, but in the same scenario, if you only creating this uh, mock for one test case and you don't using time on other uh, test cases uh, on this file, then just you, need, you don't need this one. But it's always to have it there, it's good to have it just to be in safe side. And next step, you need to call this this here, uh, use uh, fake time uh, timers. And so this will allow you to access this global mock date or mock time. And then you need to call this uh, syst uh, set system time and then pass what, uh, whatever time that you need to set. In this scenario, because we are using a date, you can pass new date then with the date that you need always to be there. Uh, was that it will be assigned to our ID and this simply how to mock a date and I hope this was clear and simple and you get a benefit from this tutorial and if you like it try to press sum up and as I mentioned this will support me to continue uploading more tutorials and videos and also if you have comments suggestion an idea or let me even uh, about uh, the tutorial down on the comment section and if you didn't subscribe until now try to subscribe to the channel and enable the bill to get all new videos and content when I upload them to the channel thank you for watching and see you on the very next video